Hi and welcome back. So today we're in the 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range and we've got another update. It's update 2024.44.25.2. There are a lot of new features. We finally have another update with a lot of nice new features. Uh, I'm gonna go over them, show you everything that I can show you uh, as it operates, you know, as I'm able to. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a great video. Uh, before I get started, I wanna say thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Really does help my channel. And let's get right into it. Okay, so as I said, this is 2024.44.25.2. So we've got a lot of new things here. The first one is Apple Watch. So this is saying that Tesla for Apple Watch allows you to pair your watch as a key and unlock and lock your vehicle without ever, basically you can make your Apple Watch a key. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an Apple Watch or an iPhone, so I can't show you that. But basically, if you do have an Apple Watch, it can be a key just like your phone is a, a phone key, which is a really cool feature. Uh, I think it's awesome. And yeah, that's a great, great new uh, feature. We also have the mobile app dash cam viewer. So uh, this one here says that you can watch and save dash cam and sentry mode clips directly from your phone. First, ensure the view camera via mobile app setting on the touchscreen is enabled. So you go to controls, safety, uh, controls, then safety. Then on your mobile app, you have to go to security dash cam viewer, and then clips are end-to-end -end encrypted, cannot be accessed by Tesla. This requires the iOS mobile app version 4.39.5 or higher and premium connectivity. Now, as I said, I don't have an iPhone, so therefore, clearly, I don't have iOS mobile app, so I can't do this. This is a feature only for iPhone users. Hopefully, in a future update, they'll make this available for uh, Android, I hope, on the, a future version of the Tesla app, but we will see. Sirius XM. So now you can subscribe and get Sirius XM in your Tesla. It does require premium connectivity to function, uh, but you can get Sirius XM. Now, Sirius XM, they offer a, uh, an introductory rate to Tesla Model 3 and I believe Y users where it's an only $9.99 a month for the, for, for the first two years. You get to use it in your Tesla. You also get to use it in the uh, Sirius app you can download. And then after that, I believe it goes to $25 a month. But then again, remember that's in two years. The price will surely increase. But as of now, you get it for $10 a month for the first two years. And then currently, the price it would go up to would be about $25. So Sirius, that's a really cool one. I'm debating about what to do about it. Um, and we'll see, I don't know that I'm gonna get it. I do have premium connectivity, so I'm not really sure. Set arrival energy, this is a really cool feature. So this says that now, when you arrive at your destination, you can set a preferred battery charge level. So in other words, if you wanna get somewhere and not have you know, 10% battery, you can say, I'd like to have 60% battery when I get there, which would then modify the charging stops that you're gonna have to do uh, when, you, when you navigate. So that's a really nice feature. It comes up in navigation. Okay, so to do that set arrival energy, when you navigate, Okay, and then you go into the three dots, you now have set arrival energy. And that's where you can hear in this screen, set what your energy is gonna be when you get where you're going. Okay, so that's how you do that. Okay, so search along route. This is another new feature that while navigating, when you search for a location like a coffee shops, fast food or other things, the results are filtered to show options along the route. And it will also include an estimated detour time. Um, so that's another cool feature that you can do um, when you're navigating. So the way that works is if you're navigating, okay, you would hit the three dots, you would hit uh, add a stop, and it's going to search along your route. So let's say you wanted a McDonald's. And you hit enter it should search for McDonald's along the route. 
uh, here and it tells you, whoops, there you go. And it tells you that one would add four minutes, that one would add seven minutes. So it tells you how much time they would add to your trip, which is a really nice feature. Okay, another new feature is weather at your destination. So it says that while navigating, your car will display the destination's weather in the weather pop-up and notify you of any significant weather differences between your current location and your final destination. This does require pr premium connectivity to work. So that's another cool feature. So the way that works is right now I'm navigating. If I press the weather to get the weather pop-up screen, it'll show me the current weather where I am. But if I hit destination, it shows me the weather at my destination. So that's a nice feature if you don't know what it's going to be like when you get where you're going. This is a great feature, rear cross traffic alert. So basically the way they word this is when you shift into reverse, your vehicle will alert you if it detects a pedestrian or a vehicle crossing you, crossing behind you by highlighting the corresponding side of the rear view camera feed in red. So this one I can't really show you because there's nobody around, but if you shift into reverse, if someone were coming to you at across from the left side, it would highlight the left side of the view in red. If they were coming this way from the right, it would highlight the right side in red. So that's a really nice feature because just because they're not in the camera, you can see in this example, there's a front end of a car there. You might not catch it, but if they're coming, it will highlight that someone's heading in your, you know, in crossing past behind you. So that's a really nice safety feature. Uh, tune in. So this says explore the all new tune in radio on Tesla, still completely free. So this is just an update to the tune in app. We did have it, but it's a new uh, update to it. So it's just, it's just more features in it. Uh, the light show. So now there's another new light show. It says time to celebrate with the latest light shows to the tune of Cyber Symphony by Lionel Yu and Ready for Assault by Evgeny Bardyuzha. You can play the show instantly or schedule it up to 10 minutes in advance, either on a single vehicle or sync it with your friends. You can control interior lighting, add display color effects, and create longer custom shows. To play a custom show, save the show files in a light show folder on your flash drive, connect and select. And oh, you can also now start the show from your mobile app, um, uh, but you have to have mobile app version 4.39.5, which I currently don't or go to your app launcher in the car and you could launch the light show. So we've had light shows before. Basically it's new light shows. Um, we've now got theater and video updates. So you can use the media card to play and pause any active video content playing through the browser or through theater. You can also start a video in the web browser before your drive <clears throat> and you'll hear it as audio while you're driving. So in other words, if you have a video, but you, you obviously can't watch videos while you're driving, but if you start it in the browser, when you begin driving, it will turn off the video, but you can hear it as audio while you're driving. Seat control, this is a really nice feature. This allows you to adjust the position of an unoccupied passenger seat. Note, it has to be unoccupied. So the way you do it is you go to controls, seats, right? And now I can control the passenger seat. from in here, which is a really nice new feature. I really like that feature a lot. It's pretty excellent. Maintenance summary. This provides a record of when common maintenance actions were last performed and recommends when to perform them next. The records persist on the vehicle even through factory resets, which gives you a record of previously performed maintenance actions for current and future owners. So this is also nice if you're buying a pre-owned Tesla, you can look at what's been done on it, I guess starting now, but you go to controls, service, maintenance. So let's take a look at that. Service, and then you go to maintenance. This tells you when your last tire rotation is, mine is overdue. When your wiper blades were replaced, mine is overdue. Uh, cabin air filter, it has, I haven't logged it. Wheel alignment check, when you need it. Windshield camera precision cleaning as needed. So this is just some different, and you can also write from here, request service. So this just gives you an idea of different things. It's definitely a nice feature. And then the final thing is minor updates, but at least now they're telling you 
about specific minor updates. They're not just saying minor updates. So I'll read through these for you. Well, one of them is tap nearby parking on any point of interest page to get directions to nearby parking and start your journey with ease. That's a phenomenal feature. So if like I'm going to uh, a ball game or whatever, or an airport and I want to park elsewhere nearby, you can tap nearby parking. That is fantastic. Number two, navigation will now dynamically route around road closures and display them along an affected route when they are detected by the fleet, which is all of us. Another one, if someone attempts to open the door or trunk while sentry mode is active, you will receive a notification on your mobile app. I did receive a notification on my app when this happened and I saw it ha uh, occur, it was pretty cool. Next, when reviewing dash cam clips in your vehicle, the video player will skip directly to the event, which is nice. You don't have to watch that long, you know, scrolling bar till you get to the event. That's a nice thing. Uh, next, the energy apps consumption page has been updated to let you view your energy usage over the last 200 miles. Nice feature. Um, when navigating to a supercharger, upon arrival, you will be notified on the touchscreen if any of those stalls that are currently out of service. So if there's a broken one or not working correctly, it will tell you that. The next one. While reversing, your music volume can automatically lower to help you focus and concentrate on parking. You go to controls, safety, lower volume in reverse. So let's show you that one. Controls, safety, and somewhere here should be lower volume in reverse. Let's find it right here. So you could turn on lower the volume in reverse like that. I'll turn it on and try it out. What the heck? Let's see what that works like. And finally, the last minor fix, it just says minor fixes and performance enhancements have been applied. So I like that they're telling us about these minor updates. That's a nice thing, you know, giving us specifics of what they've done. So as you can see, a lot of new features, a lot of great new things. I love the find nearby parking. That's an awesome feature. I love that we can see the weather at the destination. A lot of great features in this update. Um, the maintenance summary, the new light shows just for fun. That's great. Um, the fact that we can view the dash cam clips in the mobile app now, if you have an iPhone, unfortunately I don't. Sirius XM, not sure I'm going to use it, but we'll see. Love the search along the route. Rear cross traffic alert, that's fantastic for, for safety. So yeah, these are all great updates. Thank you for sticking with me and watching the video. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.